morning everybody this is vlog x aka vlog number 10 this is our last full day here in munich germany um absolutely gorgeous place you could probably see from the last two vlogs not really sure what's going on today so something happened with the making of the program um i believe we were supposed to visit the audi factory I don't know what happened, so we're gonna kind of see what's up. So everything's gonna be spontaneous, even for me. I believe we are going to a university, the Technical University of Munich, I believe. But I'm um, not sure what else is happening after that. But let's wait and see what the day has to offer. Yeah, so we just arrived uh, at the Technical University of Munich. Yeah, hey, hey Nick, thank you. Thank you, Nick. All right, so we're here inside the university, and then Gus is gonna come in three, two, there he is. So cool thing, EDU Rome with Virginia Tech switched over to actually a universal Wi-Fi. So as I walked into any university, maybe a university in Italy or even here, it automatically connected, and that's one of the reasons that Tech switched, and it is awesome. Alright, so we just got done pretty much from another class by a professor here at the Technical University of Munich. Um, it was really interesting to see how they talked about the incorporation of architecture, um, project planning, as well as engineering in the design process of a building. So one of the coolest things that they talked about was how they design buildings at the, in a way where um, it produces the least amount of, uh, or it uses the least amount of energy, of course, to making every building efficient. One of the coolest examples was a school in Syria. And in Syria, there's a great lack of energy. There's not that much um, power that can be housed to or even be able to be produced. And they needed to build a school. So they designed a simple method in which almost there was no electricity that was needed to ventilate and air condition the system. But it was a concept of architecture where they designed the windows and the building in a certain way where it ventilated the entire area without, with minimal use of energy. And they also just talked about ways that, you know, oftentimes when we pass by, or when we pass by a cool building, we don't really look at the fact that what's the engineering behind it. We're just like, wow, that was such a cool building, um, overlooking the whole idea of it. So it's cool to see how certain buildings are designed in a way to produce or consume the least amount of energy. All right, so I don't even know if this is gonna record, but apparently I've been shooting so many videos on this phone that the camera messed up and it doesn't click record when I tell it to. So half of the stuff, it hasn't been recording. So I really hope this doesn't break until I get back. This is an interesting day with everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Cool. So it's made out of a German fire evacuation in the train. We survived. Now, yeah, we, we survived. survived. Okay. Now we're gonna go find a nice place to eat. It's raining. It's raining again. All right, it's raining. Back at this place we were at yesterday. Cool thing. We're going to a brewery. So keep me the hell out Alright, so now we're stuck on a train in the middle of a tunnel. As you can see. I have no idea what's going on. But this day is just getting better and better. 
No matter what, no matter what the situation is, this man will be playing music. Maybe Fetty Wap. So the metro station stopped working. That was the last stop that they were gonna go to due to the emergency fire. And now we're walking all the way to wherever we're going, the brewery. Whoa. See, there's Will. Everybody got their beer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Still keeping it halal though. Still keeping it halal. Will, smile. <laughs> when to give you guys your beer. out of the brewery and it was really interesting to see how they make beer even for a person who doesn't drink um, they were just showing us all the equipment and the entire process from initial to final production it was just a cool thing to see so um I just got back to the hotel have a few minutes to kind of relax and talk um, I'm actually about to go head out to see a mosque um, both Switzerland, Germany, and Italy are very religious in terms of Christianity. As I told you, you may have seen in all the videos, all of the churches, and they're absolutely amazing. But I did want to actually see a mosque and see how that is presented in an area like this. You know, living from the Northern Virginia area, uh, there, are, there are quite a few mosques scattered throughout. And there's also one, I believe two, in Blacksburg that um, are very nice as well. But I haven't seen anything here um, pop out as a mosque, to put into correct terms. And I did Google it, and they, a few searches did show up. And there's one actually down the street, around 30-minute walk, which isn't too bad. And I'm going to go see if I can catch that up. Um, it's interesting to see how it's like to be uh, one of the only people on the trip who's actually Muslim. Um, and practicing and everything. But... It, it, it's it's interesting. I actually think that I'm going to put a... Uh, I know I wasn't... I'm not really the type of person to vlog. Like, this is the only time I've ever made a vlog for this trip. But there are a few things that I want to discuss through personal experience and stuff that I learned that I may make a vlog. Maybe one or two after just discussing my experience, things that I've learned. And, um, you know, one of them may be how it's like to be a Muslim. Uh, one of the only people on the trip. And, you know, just getting adapted, learning new culture, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, and one of them comes to like the brewery thing, like the wine brewery, like, uh, set aside the fact that I don't drink. It's an interesting concept to learn. It's engineering, it's mechanics, it's science. It's really cool to learn about it. Uh, no, like hands down. I definitely enjoy that visit, although I don't drink. Um, you don't have to drink to do a lot of things. You don't have to drink to have fun. You don't have to drink to do a variety of things. Those who choose to do it, like, I mean, hey, that's them. It's culture and especially living here in Germany where it's literally the drinking center of the world, where, G uh, where beer is cheaper than water. Yes, beer is cheaper than water. That's how heavy drinking is here. Um, you know, it's interesting. When everybody around you is drinking, 
I know Dr. Knight had a uh, journal prompt, uh, state a time where you felt uncomfortable. Thing is, I, I really haven't felt uncomfortable here because I, I'm, I learned who I am. Like, you know, I've survived the first year of college and three years to come, of course, but, you know, I, I've seen people around me, uh, you know, drinking, but you don't have to associate with that. So I really think that this is one of those things where I don't really even feel uneasy, but uh, at the bare minimum, it's weird to see, you know, everybody around you is drinking. It's a very common culture where your friends across you. Uh, drinking age, fun fact, in Germany, 16. Um, and apparently I heard from a tour guide, not our tour guide, but from the bike tour that with consent, you can be 13 years of age. You heard that correct. One, three, 13 and be able to drink. So, you know, it's definitely interesting when everybody around you is drinking. You think that you may feel uneasy. Um, I really don't because I'm not. Uh, I, I hang around with people that do, but also those that don't and they do what they do they enjoy their way i enjoy my way as long as you're having fun in your own way you don't need to worry about anything nobody pressures you you know to stick to who you are stick to your morals uh once again I'll, I'll explain this later on i'm a little talking too much but there's not much content for today so uh let's see how that moss goes and if i can find it and let this journey begin yo so me and my man's clean just got a bus to ourselves oh a train to ourselves as we go on a journey like an hour away to find a boss and look oh he was doing something dumb oh I almost fell we are like the only people at this metro station it is it's a beautiful wind turbine cool looking buildings but then there's like nobody here should we go down here yeah holy crap this is like dead Crossing the highway to get to this mosque. Nice little view right there. Buildings, wind turbine. And we just arrived to the mosque. That's the name, it's in German. It's kind of hard to see. Islamic Centrum Munich. I think that's translates to Islamic Center of Munich. Wow. So we just arrived. It's absolutely gorgeous in the inside, but it's sadly locked. Never mind, it said push, not pull. Okay, so I just got done visiting the mosque, as you can see right behind me, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Alright, so I have to cross the street really quickly, but it is beautiful, even uh, such beautiful architecture. And I was actually really surprised to see this uh, architecture like this, especially in Germany. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I'm really happy I was able to go here, and it was just, it was a great experience. Alright, so now that journey's over, about to head to the plaza. See, we can get something to eat. Get that amazing mango juice that I had yesterday. Oh man, that mango juice is so good. So we had to walk a lot. Took the train down for like about 15 minutes. I think total, what did you think total time was about? An hour? Transport here was 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour. Um, this tells you, there's not many, um, I mean, I did see a lot of people with the uh, hijab on, which is commonly known as like a headscarf. Um, and there is a good amount of Muslim population here, but it's just surprising having to walk almost an hour away to the closest mosque. Alright, so I just came to that place where I got that amazing mango smoothie. And it's closed, man. It's closed. It's 8 o'clock. That's the last time I'm gonna be in Munich. Oh, I miss that mango smoothie. Alright, and the last night in Munich, Germany is over. Wow. It was a good day, to say the least. Uh, as we said, I went to the University of Munich Technology. I think it's like, it's, they say T-U-M, but I'm pretty sure it's the Munich University of Technology. Um, or translated, it's that. And then right after that, we went to a brewery, which was pretty cool, as I said. And probably hands-on coolest thing we did was go to that mosque, as you saw. Absolutely gorgeous. Best time ever. All accompanied by... Mummy, it's clean. 
<laughs> now we're just chilling and I'm editing some vlogs because it takes a lot of time to edit these things. Totally worth it though. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I think it should be all the vlogs have been uploaded. Italy sucked. The, oh, oh shoot, Italy was awesome. The Wi-Fi at Italy sucked. Wi-Fi in Switzerland sucked. Guess what? The Wi-Fi here sucks too. They're all gorgeous. Italy did not suck. I meant their Wi-Fi sucked. Tell <laughs> you the least. I love Italy. Absolutely love Italy. Um, well, tomorrow's our... Tomorrow morning we'll be departing to a location. Stay tuned. Won't let you know what. It's our last location until we depart back all to the good old United States of America. Um, man, what can I say? It's been... It's been a great... It's been a great time here. Uh, dang. Almost over. See you tomorrow morning, new location, stay tuned. Wait, I totally forgot to mention the McDonald's. We ate McDonald's and they had egg rolls. Egg rolls at McDonald's. The McDonald's here in Germany is crazy. They have like wings, Clayton, what else do they have? Chicken. They have like... <laughs> they had chicken wings, they had like salsa and like this, like uh, some fancy burgers. Uh, veggies, clubhouses, um, a whole McCafe. You have McDonald's and you have McCafe. They, they had everything. They had three floors. And they had three floors. Well, I mean, I've seen fancy McDonald's, but this was probably the coolest, most efficient, most delicious McDonald's I've ever been to halfway across the world. All right, now I'll see you tomorrow morning.